Um, when we look at um, gender-based violence, I think uh, in order to uh, think about doing something against gender-based violence, we need to first analyze uh, the reasons why it happens. And I think uh, one of the main reasons that uh, gender-based violence or any kind of violence uh, actually uh, to happen is uh, the lack of self-confidence of the violator. Um, that is what our research tells us. Um, and uh, that should be one of the main things uh, we need to fix in the society, I believe, uh, in order to abolish uh, any kind of violence. And also, uh, when we look at gender-based violence, it's, of course, the role of uh, women or how women are viewed uh, in the society, in the culture. Uh, and uh, we need to be doing something on that front as well in order to prevent violence against women or uh, any kind of uh, violence against uh, the minorities even or anyone basically in the society. And also, um, um, when we look at violence, um, we see that uh, alcohol abuse, um, children who have been subject to violence uh, in their past, uh, when they grow up, are more likely to be violent against others. So, um, like uh, it's the common belief, uh, violence begets violence. and. We need to basically start eliminating violence against children uh, first uh, in order to uh, again talk about eliminating uh, violence at all from the society.